Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video where we talk about the upcoming basketball shoe releases. Uh, we have quite a few new exciting signature shoes to kick off 2023, other than the Nike Ja One that we talked about last time. Also, finally, another dope Kobe 6 colorway that used to be a player exclusive, but you already know those are almost impossible to get your hands on a pair at retail nowadays. Anyways, let's get right into it. And as always, most of the upcoming shoes, I will end up getting them to see how they actually perform. So please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. We'll start with the Kobe 6 Pro Troll in the reverse Grinch colorway, a rumor to drop around the holidays this year. A lot of you know that this is the Anthony Davis PE, and I remember almost two years ago, he first teased this colorway in the locker room, and then wore them in game a few times too, also during practice. As you can tell by the name and color theme, it is the reverse of the classic and iconic Kobe 6 Grinch. Uh, to me, the best Kobe shoe of all time. Releasing during the holiday season also makes sense, uh, given the Christmas-inspired theme. Uh, but how hard it is to get a pair and the resale price on these, I can already imagine. It'll be crazy. Also, hopefully we get a confirmed release date of the Kobe A Pro Troll soon as well. But for now, it looks like it's most likely going to be sometime in the fall season. Speaking of new colorways, there is the All City 11 in the Ice Blood colorway. Uh, pretty cool. I'm very excited to get a pair. Malik Beasley also wore a pink Chinese New Year colorway, uh, You're the Rabbit. I honestly didn't even know that he was signed to the brand. Uh, maybe because of his former teammate, D'Angelo Russell. Uh, and Russell himself also had a nice PE colorway of the All City 11. The midsole, outrigger shape, both look similar to the All City 10 but we might see some material upgrade, so looking forward to it. We saw LeBron wearing a mismatching colorway of the LeBron Next or NXXT with blue on the left shoe and orange on the right. This one is made for his I Promise School, and there are some other dope ones too. I'm still very curious to see how this shoe differs from the LeBron 20, because there are a lot of similarities. But being a cheaper model, if it performs really well, that can make it a much needed alternative that is more affordable. However, if I'm not mistaken, retail price should be 160 US dollars. So still pretty high, and uh, we might see a release in early February. Uh, for new silhouettes, I should be getting a pair of the Curry Hover Splash 3 very soon, so stay tuned for that. And uh, one brand new signature shoe that we now have a pretty good look at is the New Balance Kawhi 3. This is the third signature shoe of Kawhi Leonard, and um, I have to say, they immediately remind me of his first shoe, the Kawhi. I mean, they look similar, no? Uh, to me, the Kawhi 2 is better than the 1, and I just didn't really like how hard the caging is on them. The 3, like design-wise, you can just tell that it's a Kawhi shoe. You know, low-key, nothing crazy, and slightly on the heavier side, probably. Uh, this colorway is called the Alpha Predator. Also, no big New Balance logo, except for on the tongue. Tech-wise, it should still be full-length fuel cell, possibly plus the absorb cushion in this time. If it's basically a similar setup as the 2 av 3 I'm predicting that the Kawhi 3 will be softer on feet than the first two versions. So you can probably feel the foam underneath better, which is honestly a good thing. I don't know if they're still using fit weave light for the upper materials. It can be just a molded textile upper. Sometimes they don't specify every detail even in the description. It will have a mid for shank plate called the Energy Arc. Uh, this one has a translucent also with like the cloud shape. Uh, all in all, you can pretty much expect a similar shoe to the first two versions, but with better cushioning, I feel like. Uh, while we're at New Balance, they also have a brand new team model, the Fresh Foam BB. Uh, this one is for sure very interesting. Uh, it's the first time that we see Fresh Foam being used on their basketball shoes. Zach Levine has started wearing them on the court. Uh, if you're in the US, I think they already launched on the New Balance website. Um, there should still be more releases, uh, more colorways for sure. They're naming it a full-length Fresh Foam X midsole on the shoe. I'm assuming it won't be as soft as the Fresh Foam running shoes, because uh, it is caged, but we'll see. Otherwise, a high top shoe, a translucent also too, with a pattern full of suction cups or circles uh, that should have decent traction performance, based on my experience with the 2AV2 and V3. And moving on to the big one is Jason Tatum's first ever signature shoe with Jordan brand, the JT1. As to how they look, I mean, this is purely subjective, but I kind of like it. I think there are a lot of possibilities as far as the future colorways go. If you look at the back, the heel shape and design are a little bit Kobe-like. You know, Kobe has had a huge influence on Tatum's career because of the mentorship, mentality, and everything. Now, the most notable thing about the JT1 must be that exposed or cut off part, which is wild, but nothing new really. From the Jordan 34 to 36, they sort of did that too. 
Uh, but this time it's also exposed a lot through the ELSO, it looks like. It'll most likely feature Zoom Air instead of any other tech. I'm not sure if Formula 23 is going to be used there. The traction pattern reminds me of handful noodles. Um, yeah, it has a translucent part, just like the Zoom Freak 1, for example. And just as a prediction, I'm guessing that it's going to be on the lighter side, or no more than average weight, at least. Release date is probably going to be right after when the Nike Ja 1 comes out. Uh, they'll probably promote the JT1 in continuation. He has been getting a lot, uh, like a lot of super dope Jordan 37 PEs. So this black and red version, uh, the Zoo, is just the very first one that surfaced online. I'm really excited to see more about them going forward. So that about concludes it for some of the most notable upcoming releases. Uh, obviously this video is just my personal opinions and speculations about the shoes. So let me know how you feel about them down in the comments. Uh, when it comes to the very first images, some shoes you can just tell that they'll be a great performer. Like the 2AV3, LeBron 20, but there were also ones that I was completely wrong about, uh, just judging by how they look. Like I thought the Dame Certified and like UA Lockdown 6 were going to be just alright. But turns out they're the two best budget shoes on the market right now, based on my experience playing in them. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.